So I met the training about, um, it's about five years ago now in Rishikesh and um, it was something that just came about without looking for anything. I'd come from already feeling very happy and very stable and already in my own experience I'd tried many, many things, many techniques, many practices. I've lived in Arambol for many years, tried all kinds of strange workshops and uh, <clears throat> ended up in all kinds of strange positions and circumstances <laughs> and um, <clears throat> at some point I'd realized I'd seen some benefits in those things but also I also recognized that well just naturally what had come about is that I just stopped to do all of those things and through the process of just giving up all of those things I recognized that actually I was feeling much better just from doing nothing just from letting it all be and just I was recognizing um, so much benefit in my life and then um, I stumbled through the magic park which is on the other side of Arambo on the last day of the season there and I literally just heard two or three people like sharing a little sentence here and there and it was just so clear to me that that's what I was feeling already that I was so ready to just to follow that what I'd already recognized and what other people were sharing there so I, um, I went up to Rishikesh and did the 12 empowerments and um, it's amazing now to see the difference of because then there was not so much community there were not so many people that had been around for a long time there was uh, we were 30 people in the empowerments most of us there was no introductory course or anything so most of us had no idea what it was all about um, so there's like a room of 30 confused people and then there was Jochen and uh, Alan and like I just feel so lucky that I saw in those two people something that inspired me so much it was something that I'd never seen before in somebody else and um, I just took all of their confidence for myself and um, that was enough like the, just the power of those two people was enough to convince me and obviously like from what Candice was saying like regardless if from day one that I understood what was saying what was being said um, I never doubted for a minute that what she was saying was the case, was entirely true. Um, so it's amazing now to see such a community all over the world. I've spent the last um, months traveling around in Europe with different communities and everywhere it's so solid. So for anyone that comes now, it's so the, the qualities and the results of the training are just demonstrated in so many people. And um, I think that just makes it easier and easier for, for everybody that comes because like, the results are just so clearly um, on display. <clears throat> so then um, for the first, uh, I'd say the main difference in, since those five years of doing the empowerments is um, just the degree to which I take support from the mainstays. I think for the first two years after the empowerments, the only um, support that I really took was from listening to the downloads. And this I did like for many hours a day for a long time. It's like um, Michelle shared, just constantly listening to downloads all the time. I stopped listening like music and books and all those things. Whenever I had any spare time, I would just plug into the downloads. And without even thinking about it, I just recognized that this was having such an amazing benefit. Um, but that was the only support that I took really. I never wrote to my trainer, I didn't take part in any trainings, I didn't really spend any time with the community. And then just what's naturally happened, um, especially in the last few years, is just a commitment to relying on all four of those mainstays. I'm very lucky I live here in Arambol anyway for many years, so I didn't have to go really very far to take part in trainings, to be with the community. Um, and yeah, yeah, just very lucky to have the resources to be able to track down the training and just hang out with people. And um, the results of that, I just see in every aspect of my life, actually, more and more, I just experience um, just an openness to people, to more and more people. Um, I was sharing with a friend the other day, I've always had lots of love to share and uh, for the people that were like cool enough that fitted into my little radar of who was cool enough to be my in my gang or whatever then uh this love was very obviously demonstrated to all of my friends but this was something that encompassed only a very small amount of people that were like whatever cool enough and um what i just see naturally coming about more and more in these last years is that that's just opening up to encompass more and more people all of the time 
like people that like I see it in the center um, just people that even a year ago I didn't even notice you know like people I would not want to sit down and talk to or people I would like be out there whatever and I just see that th this year and the more that I'm around people this love and this openness and this like just wanting to like benefit and communicate with people I uh, just opens up to um, yeah to more and more people and for sure I still see sticky points and sticky people but um, I'm so confident and convinced that just through the practice of the mainstays that this is an opening that is just uh, it's limitless actually and it will for all people open up to encompass all people of the world and uh, we will live in a world where you know everybody just is open to everybody and treat each other with you know the love and respect that we all deserve and um, I think that's very amazing and then um, I'd like to just share a little bit about service in the center and um, I remember when I first came to the training in Balance View, I was very aware of the obvious benefits for myself, but all of the talk about benefiting everybody else, I was like, man, I've just, uh, this is not for me. I'd <laughs> spent about 10 years of my life arranging a perfect situation when I didn't actually have to do anything. I lived in India, I have a business where people work for me, I have a guy who works for me in my house, I have people that set up my market stalls. I'd set up a situation when I didn't have to really do anything. I could just kick back, smoke joints all day long, play music, and it was like happy days. And um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, the idea of like suddenly benefiting and like doing things for other people was just like, man, that's not for me. <laughs> and, um, and again, I just see that this is something that's just changing all the time. Um, my one of my service positions in the center is uh i do go to mapsa and do all the shopping and bring things from the center and that suited me fine because it was just me on my own i didn't have to deal with anybody else could just do that feel like i was still being a benefit but not having to like deal with everybody else and um this year with a gentle shove from my lovely trainers and friends um i am engaged in lots more roles in the center and it's amazing to see because even regardless of the data around it, I just find myself here more and more um, able and willing to serve and contribute to other people and people that want to be here and supported and uh, I'm just able to do that and yeah like I say regardless of what's going on like I just find myself here it seems to be the most beneficial thing that I can do with my time and my resources and um, it's just amazing, yeah. Many things come up from being here and working in teams with people and just provide such a great opportunity to relax and just, like I said, that openness to just keep on expanding. And uh, yeah, that's what everyone's doing here, just coming up and opening up. And uh, this is what we see, a big, nice place where we can all hang out together and have fun. <laughs>